problem. If P and Q are the sum of odd terms, odd terms and the sum of the sum of the even terms even terms respectively respectively in the expansion of in the expansion of x plus a all to the power of n, then through that through that first one p square minus q square is equal to x square minus a square whole power n second one 4 p q is equal to x plus a all to the power of 2 n minus x minus a all to the power of 2 n. Okay. P is the sum of the odd terms whereas q is the sum of the even terms of the expansion x plus a all to the power of n. Then we have to prove that p square minus q square is equal to x square minus a square whole power n whereas second one 4 p q is equal to x plus a all to the power of 2 n minus x minus a all to the power of 2 n that we have to prove. Okay. First let us expand x plus a all to the power of n. So, after that we get we have to establish relation between p and q that means sum of the odd terms and sum of the even terms. So, let us see. So, now consider x plus a all to the power of n let us write this expansion. So, this is the Newton's expansion. So, this expansion can be written x to the power of n plus n c 1 x to the power of n minus 1 a plus n c 2 x to the power of n minus 2 a square plus n c 3 x to the power of n minus 3 a cube and plus so on dash dash plus a power n. See very carefully observe this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term and vice versa. That means sum of the odd terms means first term, third term, fifth term, seventh term. Sum of the even terms means second term, fourth term, sixth term. So, let us separate the terms now, regroup the all the terms. So, now this the first term is x to the power of n. Next third term is n c 2 x to the power of n minus 2 a square and plus dash dash plus this can be written n c 1 x to the power of n minus 1 into a plus n c 3 x to the power of n minus 3 a cube plus dash dash. So, now according to the problem this is given as p, this is given as q. So, this can be written as now p plus q. So, x plus a all to the power of n is nothing but now p plus q. 
So, similarly, if you consider similarly, similarly x minus a all to the power of n expansion you consider it. Then what will happen you see you know only alternative sign change will come minus plus minus plus that means here you will be getting minus sign. So, it is obvious that p minus q if x plus a all to the power of n is p plus q whereas x minus a all to the power of n is equal to p minus q. Let us come to the first one now. So, let us prove first one. First one is very simple p square minus q square p square minus q square is nothing but p plus q into p minus q simple algebraic formula. What is p plus q just see that is x plus a all to the power of n. What is p minus q x minus a all to the power of n. So, x plus a all to the power of n into x minus a all to the power of n. This we can write x plus a into x minus a all to the power of n. Again algebraic formula a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square. So, now x plus a into x minus a is x square minus a square all to the power of n. Just check what has to be proved. So, over let us go to the second one. Second one 4 p q in algebra we have one formula p plus q whole square minus p minus q whole square that is nothing but 4 p q only. Now, substitute p plus q p plus q is x plus a all to the power of n whole square minus this is x plus x minus a all to the power of n whole square. So, now so this is equal to x plus a all to the power of 2 n minus x minus a all to the power of 2 n. Hence, it is proved. 